What's up everybody, it's your fellow Hexmaster here, Psycho Death Demon, and today we'll be opening up some Japanese Pokemon Mars. Pokemon Mars. Pokemon cards. Eh, English. Even though I'm opening up Japanese. Pokemon. This is obviously the most latest set called Double Blaze, which is uh it'll be one half of the soon to be released Unbroken Bonds uh set that's coming here to America. To English, I should say, but, but I guess, you know, America, English, yeah, they're, they're both intertwined. But this is a really awesome set. It's, you know, part of the Tag Team series, you know, featuring Reshram and Charizard as the main ones, you know, again. And this is also has some of the video game characters in it well Giovanni Giovanni's back with his own card uh red the main protagonist from Pokemon red blue green and yellow is in this set he has his own full art his own regular card uh what else you know the most sought after card would be the restaurant Charizard restaurant rainbow rare or Cigarette in this case. Come on, box. Open, please. I'm, this is the third time opening one of these boxes and never seen. There we go. Hey. I always have a trick. Oop. Let me just fold this right on in. Eventually. No, I dump out the packs first. The. Then. Yeah, I'll just deal with that later on my own time. Boop. But yeah, Japanese boost boxes, if you don't know, come with 30 packs, and each pack has 5 cards. So a lot different than the English set, which comes with, you know, 36 cards, 10 cards each. At least the not modern ones. I got my trusty scissors, because I want to save a pack art this time. Just... Snip, 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 snip. Well, I said pack art, not pack. But this will be the only time I think I, uh, you know. Sorry, restroom. You're getting a little haircut. There we go. Uh, just a one-time deal with these packs, because I at least want to save one pack art, since I did it last time. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Over there. So like I said, there's only five cards here. So Patrick is one from the back. And uh, let's get into it. Alright, so the first card is Wigglytuff. Just chilling with two Jigglypuffs. A Dodrio. A Cotney. A Slandite. And a Red Hollow. Trainer's card. So there. First pull. As a hollow, and it's red. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was actually a red card for red. Like, yeah, it's a special color card. But, you know, if they did that, then they would have to do all kinds of special tricks. But it wouldn't be that bad. Alright, so we have ourselves a Krabomino, Oddish, Crabby, the Duo. And my boy Gengar, you get your own little pile over there. That's the one thing I like about the size Gengar's in it, which is my number one favorite Pokemon. And then it goes Mimkyu, uh, Darkrai. Uh, let's see, what else? Those are the main three, because those are the only ones I really focus on. I mean, I could say Charizard like everyone else, but, you know, I'm not like everybody else. There's stuff an Ultra Ball. Coughing with a little Team Rocket grunt in the back, throwing it like a Pokeball. Rhyhorn, Meowth, coming with its little substitute dolls. Oh, yes! Yes! Reshiram and Charizard Tag Team GX. Pack number two, no, pack number three, coming in hot. That is a pretty badass looking 
uh, art. I. That is amazing. Can I get the full art version and then maybe the rainbow rare? Just pull all three in one opening, one box. Can't remember what the other tag teams were. I know the most sought after is a Dedene GX full art. I know that's one of the most expensive ones. Uh, oh, there we go. We got ourselves Giovanni, Marco, Polywag, a Crabrawler, uh, and a Miss Magnus, not hollow rare. Uh, let's see here. What are GX is going to remember that's in this set? Uh, oh, Machamp and Marshadow. They have a, their own tag team. Uh, Lucario and Melmetal have a tag team card. I think Muck and Aloha Muck is in this set. Yeah. What do you want, Cat? Sorry. I'll let you open up Pokemon cards, but you might destroy them. Yes, you will. Okay. If you say so, cat. Alright, yourself a Marowak. Daku. Dakumana. I don't remember that one's name. Porgon. Crocodile. And a Hollow Spirit Tomb. So. Yeah, those are all the GXs I could think of. You know, I'm. I want to make out another point. I love Japanese cards. I love the way the cards look. I love the artwork. Well, I mean, no, this is probably going to be in English, but more love the way the cards look. You know, I love the back of the cards. I just love the little white border. You know, they just look, they look like something that if you saw the card just sitting in a case, you'd be like, what is that? It looks amazing. Even something like this, just a regular common card looks amazing. I have no idea what that trainer card is. We got some Diglett, Ghastly, Poliwhirl, and a Dugon. All right, getting into the next pack. I don't know if at some point I might not do the pack trick. I don't know. I mean, it's only five cards, so let's see. Let's see what time I get up to. All right, we have stuff a Meow Stick. Toracat, Porygon 2, Clefable, just eating some candy. I mean, there's one that's in the shape of a swab blue. And a Mew Hollow. Nice. I'm surprised they haven't made a Mew and Mewtwo tag team yet. You get to go back there. You're worthy to be uh, on the showcase wall. That's what I'm calling it. That's the showcase wall. I don't know. Alright, next pack. We got ourselves a Wigglytuff, Esper, Chat Dot. That's Crocodile. And a Polyrath. Yeah. I can't remember how many cards are in this set. I don't know how many secret rares are in this set. Because secret rares include full arts, rainbow rares, and you know, yada yada. I'll probably take a quick look here. Um, there's 95 cards in this set. That's not including the secret rares. Alright, so we have uh, Excavation Pick, Cotney, Tyrogue, another Ghastly, and a Porygon Z Hollow. That is amazing. Um, plus, you probably have noticed there is no reverse hollows in this. So, in Japanese main set. So, that's something that's unique, uh, unique I guess, here in the English set. But, hey. Okay. Not everything has to be the same. If it is, it'd be boring. Alright, we have stuff a wheezing, seal, venonet, ride on being. Owned by Giovanni and a Persian. Alright. Just keep going into these. So far, 
out of all the polls, and eventually at the end of the video, once you've seen all the cards, I want you guys to comment down below, which card is your favorite? Mine is obviously the Gengar card, but Reshom and Charizard are definitely, definitely up there as my favorite card. Rhyperior, Litten, Jigglypuff, Keobone, and for once, he's not sad. This, I think, is the first set where you don't have a sad Cubone. He looks more upset, like he's ready to fight Team Rocket. Like he's about ready to avenge his mother. And a Muck and a Low Muck Tag Team GX. Oh boy. So yeah, this is the other tag, never one of the tag team cards. And I am afraid to see what it's going to be like in, G in the English version. Like, what are they going to do? They probably might have Brivia Lowen or something. But that, but their artwork, that looks terrifying. Can you imagine to see those two? Like, you just, you just happen to go out, have a nice, fun night out in town. You get a little too fun. You wind up passing out in the alleyway or something. And you wake up with these two over here. That. That is uh, a very terrifying sight, and I don't ever want to see that, ever. But also, like I said, this is the other half of the Unbroken Bonds expansion is coming to English. The other half is uh, a set that's been out for a while called Night Unison, which only has two tag teams in it. It's Sylveon and Gardevoir, and Greninja and Zorak, so... So yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of tag team cards in this. There's that. We got some Yarn Oddish. Mr. Evious. Nether Cubone. And a Blacephalmon. Non-hollow. So. Yay! Blacephalmon's back. I'm assuming if you're in TCG, I'm assuming that's going to be really, really good or really, really bad. But again, with a Charizard Retron. Take team, who knows? All right, guys. So, uh, Doug Drio, Poliwag, Haunter, Growlithe, and a Volcanion Hollow. Which, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, I just gotta organize the bulk real quick, or all the non-special cards so they don't go falling all over the place here. As Growlithe starts laying off. I mean, so far, let's take a quick break. We have ourselves one, two, three, four, five hollows so far, and two GXs, tag team GXs. So, so far, the pulls aren't that bad. I mean, because I think, if I remember, I think. I guess pull wise for like GXs and that are like two to four per box. But sometimes you can get lucky and get more. I know I have. Alright. Let's go. We have ourselves a Evil Light, I think. A Napping Gloom. Happy Need to join the nice, lovely meadows. Mischievous. And a Kiawi Hollow. So uh, he's making a return, no surprise, with Charizard being uh, the mascot of this set. Yeah. Or being ha half of the mascot of the set mascot with his buddy Reshram. Alright, we have ourselves a Stunfisk, a Krabby. By the way, I love these hand drawn looking arts. Like, here, I'll just look, show you three of them. That's amazing. Like, that's hand-drawn. And you know that's not, like, anything special. Like, someone actually took a pencil or colored pencils and drew that. Rhyhorn, Jigglypuff, and Salazzle. Yeah. So... I'm opening this, because as you can see, I opened up some Detective Pikachu stuff. And, you know, I thought, you know what would be awesome as a promo card? You know, since we have 
tag team out as a main set is if we uh Dakumana, Rhydon, Gasly, and a Polyrath. Is it they release like some tag team promo cards? One of them that'll be interesting would be the awesome if they did the interrogation scene of Detective Pikachu and Mr. Mine. That would be awesome. With Tim in the background, just like, um, what's going on here? I don't know. That would be awesome. Although, I'm surprised they didn't put an AP, uh, APOM card in this set, in that set. Since he is very prominent in the, uh, uh, trailers. You guys have a Persian, Torcat, Diglett, Poliwag, and a hollow trainer card that I have no idea what that says. What that could be. Uh, it looks like some kind of stone or yeah. That's something. It looks cool. Probably gonna be very useful in the TCG. And if anyone knows what some of these trainers cards are, you know, timestamp it and uh translate it, it'd be very appreciated. Not just for me, but for anyone who's watching. Alright, let's get into it. We have ourselves a Doug Drio, Porygon 2, a Slandite, Napping Gloom, and another Evil Light. Where are you going? You're not, you're not hollow. You don't go in the hollow pile. Do, 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 do. The other thing is, with these packs, I mean, they're a lot better, but with five cards, it's a bit nervous opening them up because it's like, I don't want to hurt them. Don't want them. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club is what I'm going to say that is. Crocodile. Dokimo. Now nah, I don't remember your name. Diglett with Giovanni in the background. And of, of course, a full art hunch crow. Bit of a tease, but I had to go back and say something. But there's our first full art, i.e., a secret rare in Japanese sets. Cigarette number 102 out of 95, as you can see there. So, pretty cool that Hunch Girl has a uh, GX card, or at least fart. Because normally, most, well, I don't know. I don't know how a card becomes a GX, or if they're just like, hey, this would be cool as a GX. Alright, we have some. Probably weakness policy or retreat something. Clefable in a candy shop. Coffee and being thrown like a pokeball. Cubone practicing his martial arts. And Corbomino. Just climbing up Mount Laquila. It's like, yes, I've finally evolved from being a little skimpy crab to this uh, freak of nightmares or something. I don't know. That's a wheezing oddish slandite seal. Ooh, and a Snorlax hollow. I love this artwork. Cause not only do I love, you know, focus. Okay, fine. Not only do I love you know, the design in that, but the little Pikachu's like they're so chubby. It won't focus. Focus. Let me focus. No. Oh. But yeah, and he has a little berry on top of his head. So, that's pretty neat. I'm just going to put you up there by Mew. Alright, let's get right into the next pack. What's amazing about these, you know, I have a few duplicates, but... You don't really get that many duplicates. I mean, I got a bunch of cards I'm pretty sure I don't have yet. Which is awesome. We have ourselves a rare candy. And there, Asper waking up. Esper waking up from a nap. Litten, Jigglypuff, and a Stunfisk. So, another thing you notice is not always are you going to have a rare as your last card either. Or sometimes what. Well, actually, I don't know what cards are rare. I mean. 
There's cards that were in the beginning, became the last card. I don't know. Uh, this is only my, well, fourth Japanese box, but this is my third time opening an official set of uh, Japanese sets. So we got ourselves a Blacephalon, Rhydon, Ghastly, Murkrow, and a Landorus Hollow. I know I definitely have you. Because how can you forget something like that? Alright, let's get into the next pack. As we forget about that horrifying Landorus. And even though I never played the TCG, I just know it ain't bad. It ain't good. Or at least at one point I don't think it was. Alright, we also have a Dugun. The Duo, Polywag, Tie Rogue, and Escape Rope. Alright, so we got a couple packs. Well, yeah, a couple packs left. I don't know how many. I think I'm down to this pack six. I think I have about five left. Yep. Five more after this. Alright, and uh, three, two, one. We got ourselves an Incineroar. A Growlithe, Meowth, taking a nap with some Substitute Dolls, Rhyhorn, and a Mewtwo Hollow. That's pretty sweet. You know what, Mew? I'm putting Mewtwo right there. You may not, uh, you can kind of see them. There, are Mew, Mew and Mewtwo right next to each other. Just as they always should be. Yeah. Pew, pew. And we got ourselves uh, that, the evolved form of the other one. I think that's officially that evolution line is the only one I don't really remember or don't know its name of. We have Mysterious, Torcat, Happini, and a Venomoth. I was going to say something else. I think in the Nat Unison set, Venomoth has its own GX card. Which is pretty awesome. I mean, it's an awesome looking Venomoth. Oh, here's a new uh, energy coming. The triple energy. The triple colorless energy. So yeah, this, this is going to be a very valuable card. The English TCG for energy wise. Got yourself a Krabby, Venonet, Crocodile, hey look, a Hunch Crow GX. We have both the Hunch Crows. We have its full art, and its regular GX. That's, that's us. Awesome. So we met the quota of four pulls, and we have this pack plus two more left. So can we get lucky? Can we pull? Five. And so, please. Well, I already pulled it to Seagrass, so I don't think I'm gonna get anything better. Alright, we have a Welder, Chat Dot, Crab Brawler, Linton, and Croc Rook. Hey. Okay. Second to last pack, we have ourselves a. Firestone, Porygon 2, Napping Gloom, Poliwhirl, and a Doug Drill. Alright, last pack, final pack magic. Can we pull either our Narrow Rush Round Charizard GX tag team, the full art version, or get really, really lucky and pull a Rainbow Rare? Or at least, I hope for a. Or, you know, a pretty awesome hollow or maybe red and Giovanni. I don't know. Anything. Thinking. If I don't, still, I got an amazing selection here. We got ourselves a Kingler, Porygon, Crocodile, and I don't know what I just said there. Haunter, and a Volcanion Hollow. So, no more GXs, but hey, at least we've got. The good end of the spectrum. 
of getting the four you know GX is I like uh you know we could have just got two could have just got one Wait. so let's just look over the poles real quick so we have this hollow trainer card Kiawe Landris Hollow two Volcanian Hollows Porgon Z Hollow Spear Tomb Hollow Red Hollow a Mew Hollow a Mew 2 Hollow it's very cool looking. I'm not gonna say cute. It's cool. Snorlax Hollow. The very terrifying old muck and alone muck tag team. The very badass, awesome looking Charizard Rush Room GX. Hunch Crow GX and then the full art Hunch Crow GX. So yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments down below. What card is your favorite? Obviously mine is the Gengar card and the Restroom Charizard GX card. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like. It's very appreciated. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn off the notification bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload more to this channel. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next adventure. Bye.